Where were some of those breakdowns defensively in that first period that led to the three goals again? Yeah, um, just kind of stopped playing the neutral zone, not being above guys. Um, too many turnovers, really, you know, results in those odd man rushes. What were they doing to really limit you guys to getting through the neutral zone clean? Um, I think it's more about, you know, our own play. Um, you know, every team kind of plays similar, you know, in this league. And, you know, if we're not getting pucks in, you know, we're turning over and, you know, those key situations and, you know, we're only shooting ourselves in the foot. Just looking from this game, what's besides the neutral zone and those breakdown, what's the biggest takeaway you guys need to take away from this? Yeah, we got to get back to our game. I mean, you know, like I said, we're doing it to ourselves out there, you know, with all these turnovers and those crucial areas. And, um, you know, and then it comes back right in our face. So, you know, we got to get back to, you know, simplifying it and play behind them. A couple defensive breakdowns, especially in that first period that led to a couple goals against. What did you see going on out there? Oh, I mean, I, I turned the puck over twice and went, went down and scored. So um, definitely not good enough. Um, very disappointed in, in myself and in my game tonight. So um, I for sure take the blame on, on two of those goals. Neutral zone, they really clogged it up and prevented you guys from having a lot of clean entries. What were you seeing out there with that? I mean, it's one of those games where you have to you know, play a 200-foot game and um, get pucks in behind them and make them play defense. And obviously, we didn't do a good enough job, and um, they created turnovers and, and capitalized. Why weren't you guys able to capitalize more or even get more chances on goal? I think it was 16 shots in this game. Because uh, we weren't playing in their end. Uh, obviously, if you're not playing in their end, you're not going to get very many opportunities and very many looks. What is the biggest takeaway besides what we've talked about right now that you guys need to take going into that Columbus and Sabres back-to-back? I mean, obviously, we have to put this one behind us and, and turn the ship around real quick. It's, uh, it's, it's not an excuse to, to be missing guys and, and, and all that. We, uh, we have to play with the guys in the lineup, and we have to play hard every single night. And um, I think we've definitely shown that we can do it. But uh, we got to put it put it together here. Andy, several defensive breakdowns in the end of the first period. What did you see in that series of plays? Uh, I saw a total rack, lack of respect for our puck play. Turned too many pucks over. Uh, every time we turned it over, was in the back of our net. Uh, just a total lack of disrespect for time and place in the game, and and just puck management. The Devils struggled to get through the neutral zone cleanly at times. Why weren't they able to have a good zone entry? They were a step ahead of us all game. They outskated us. They outcompeted us. Uh, they wanted it a lot more. They wanted a lot more than we did. And by the end of the night, we got exactly what we deserved. Only 16 shots on net. What was missing from finding more opportunities? We didn't skate. We didn't compete. Uh, our puck play wasn't wasn't good. wasn't crisp. Uh, you get play like that. Uh, you know, it's on me to get them in a better place. It's on me to have them ready. It, I don't care what, what the situation is. Uh, uh, we've got to play a lot better than that. To fix this puck management, we've heard this. What's the first step? Courage sometimes. 